Assalamu alaikum. I am Sayyid Arif from grade 9th and today we are interviewing a truly exemplary student of LOS, Brother Moizul Hassan. Brother Moiz was one of the top students of grade 10 2016 and after his intermediate he graduated from the Pakistan Naval Academy with flying colors. His graduation parade was held earlier this year in June. Now let's get to the questions. For that I would like to ask the student council. Well, Brother Moiz, or should I say Officer Moiz? Officer Moiz, by the way. Officer Moyes, it's a pleasure to have you here with us and gives an opportunity to ask you some questions so about your journey so far. Yes, please, you can. It's a childhood dream to join the armed forces of Pakistan and was Navy your choice? Well, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim starting with the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Um, yes, it was my childhood dream to join Pakistan Navy and for young blood, I was, I've always observed that they are really keen to join military forces and those who are reluctant to wear uniform, they will strive hard for it and they will do their best to join armed forces. And when it comes to Navy, living in Koita, there is totally a background of army. So Navy is quite different. People don't go for Navy. But I will tell them the Navy is the best force. It works in all four dimensions. And it was my dream to join Pakistan Navy. The charm of white uniform always motivates me throughout my training at the academy. Was there any second plan apart from joining armed forces? Well, once you are done with your intermediate, um, it's not only that you only consider one career, one field for, your, for yourself. You have to consider some other field for your career as well, for your life as well. So, since army and navy forces, they, they were my passion. but. For my security, for my future, I was considered, I considered engineering as well. I applied for higher education commission engineering exams and I appeared before appearing in army exams and therefore after the given exams I was selected in electrical engineering in University of Engineering and Technology Lahore. So that was my, um, uh, you can say, alternate plan for once uh, I completed my FSC. But since God had some other plans, so I got in Navy. And that's the best option I took in my life. What were your feelings when you were got selected for the academy? Well, I cleared all my tests um, on the very first attempt by the grace of Allah Almighty. And the days I got selected in Pakistan Naval Academy, I was doing internship at Leaders Odyssey School. And the moment I got my receiving appointment letter, uh, I was here at reception with my colleagues and it was a very proud moment for me. And I had just been a source of what my parents, what my teachers believed in me. Tell us about your training at the academy. Was it difficult initially and how well did you go? Well, uh, the training in the academy seems quite easy, but it's different. Um, primarily the first 40 days, they are known as zero days. They are the toughest most days in the life of a cadet and they are remembered throughout the training, throughout his service. And since the time passes, uh, you keep on learning things, you keep on experiencing things, and you cope up with the things. You cope up with all difficult situations that comes your way. If you keep one thing in your mind, that yesterday was the easiest day, you will cope up with every difficult situation, every obstacle that comes your way. That was what my perspective was. Every single day, um, it was a new uh, opportunity, a new uh, learning for me. And once you keep on learning things day by day, you cope up with everything, every obstruction that comes your way. And that's what we did. That's what my all course mates did. And that's how I passed out. One incident that stands out in your mind during those two years of training? Well, um, there are a number of unforgettable incidents throughout my training. But the one that always comes in my mind is that we were um, issued and we were told to apply for paratrooping course and um, it was dealt by a special services group of Pakistan Navy and we had to appear on a test and those who qualified only they were selected so by the grace of Allah Almighty I applied for it and I got selected we were trained for three weeks there at Nathagali Karachi and a special services group and after training we were to, you have to jump uh, at an altitude of around 2,000 feet 
from the sea level and it was a great opportunity for me to um, experience new thing and to show my abilities well after getting being trained for three months or sorry for three weeks there we went at Ormara and um, when we were at plane the hatch opened it was a very terrifying moment for me because this noise of the air and the juggling of juggling sound I must say was quite different and was quite scary but we were wearing the parachute um, on the back it was 20 kg and when the hatch opened we were told to jump and the moment I jumped the parachute opened I remained in the air for 57 seconds and those 57 seconds are remembered throughout my life I cherish that moment throughout my life I must say that's the most unforgettable moment I must say that always comes in my mind every day it must be mind blowing experience for you yes alhamdulillah it was and your experience is an inspiration for us uh, thank you so much so were you awarded your bachelor's degree there um, no uh, because when uh, a cadet completes the first term uh, according to its priorities and according to its passion and his thinking ability uh, he's awarded branches we are given four branches there and that is mechanical engineering, weapon engineering, logistics branch, and operations branch. And once you are allotted with your branches, you get basic training regarding those branches. And once you pass out from the academy, you proceed to different renowned universities of Pakistan to get your professional degrees in those respective branches. When I talk about myself, I am from mechanical engineering and with a specialization in naval architecture. So once you pass out from there, you get your professional degrees at the university and it takes almost two years other than uh, training at the academy. So this is how we gain our professional degrees and after getting professional degrees, we are posted on the ships on different units. Like in intermediate, you can opt any subject, like any field. Yes. And afterwards, you have to join or apply for the any of the forces of Pakistan? Yes, uh, when you talk about the forces, um, different forces demand different subjects. For instance, when I talk about Navy, um, only those students who have done pre-engineering or ICS, only they can apply. Uh, those who, are done, who have done uh, biology as their capacity subject, so um, they have to do, they have to opt additional maths to come and to indulge themselves in forces. But when it comes to Air Force, they can go. Every field can go. You would advise to those who want to make Navy as their career? I would suggest all the young blood and all those students who are applying for forces and Navy, they must work on their physicals as well as their academics. Because one must consider all aspects, nothing must be ignored. And those who are reluctant to join or to wear white uniform, he must strive very hard to achieve a certain level of appreciation in that. And other than that, your physical endurance must be enough to cop up with the training at the academy. Because the fascination of this force and the white uniform will make him strive hard for it and inshallah he'll achieve it. The feeling of your family and your own on your passing out day. Well, it was a very overwhelming and cheerful uh, feeling for me because once you pass out, uh, it's the fruit of the two years. Uh, you, it's the result of the hard work uh, and the sweat and the blood that you uh, had on the parade ground. The same parade ground you were rubbed and the same parade ground uh, you are getting passed out. So it's a great feeling and it cannot be forgettable. And once you are uh, at the parade ground, it's your passing out day and you're holding the national standard, which is the national flag uh, of Pakistan. And you're standing in front of the parade, in front of the chief guest, in front of your parents. Um, and it's your passing out. And it's a great and the most overwhelming experience to have. And um, I would like to mention all my friends, my family who supported me in my tough time and who encouraged me that I can do it. So I would like to mention them and I'm highly grateful for my school, for my friends who supported me in my tough times. 
um, and I'm very thankful to them. Any inspirational message to the Odysseans? Uh, well, all I can say is follow your dreams and you will achieve everything in your life. Only sky is the limit. In my case, sky is the limit while defending the motherland. Thank you so much, Brother Movies, for spending such time with us. And you are an inspiration for all of us. Good luck for your future. And Allah ne jai Thank you so that much. That was an emotional interview. And we pray for your success in the future as you are one of the defenders of our homeland. Till the next time we meet, Allah Thank you so much. I'm highly honored.